Michael from uh, Liquid Badger. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add table of contents to your blog post on Shopify. Super simple. You don't really need an app to do this. I know many people use an app, but you can do this on your own without an app. Uh, so let's get started. Shouldn't take more than two minutes. So to start off, like uh, I'm just going to show you my blog post. It's, it's a dummy blog post, but uh, I'm going to add table of contents around here and I'm going to try to make them go down to, I have like three sections to learn, to celebrate and to discover. Oh, well, I get, I got more than three, but I'm just start with like three. All right. So first things first, right? Like let's add table of contents, table of contents. I'm going to, I'm going to make this bold. This, this doesn't matter. This is just for design and I'm doing it for myself. And then I'm going to make it a list. You can click bullet list. All right. What's the first section to learn? All right. I'm going to leave it to learn. Let's make it not bold. Um, all right. Get a spare. Uh, what's the second section to celebrate? Celebrate. To discover and to share. To share. Okay, and that's it. Okay, I don't care about the other two, but so that's table of contents. Now we just need to make them go from here to the bottom, right? First thing you do, right? Uh, select the text and click on link, uh, which you will find it not there. Here, yeah. And in link two, this is what you type in, right? Type in two dot learn. And at the, at the start, type in hashtag, hashtag two dot learn. The name can be anything. This, uh, the hashtag needs to be there. But other than that, this can be anything. It's up to you. So for example, if you have an article on the best um, treadmills for 2023, and you have a section called treadmills for adults, you can have, ha ha you know, you can make this say uh, treadmills for adults, you know, but just make sure there's no uh, space between them. And so add dash and stuff, make sure it's in the same window. You don't want to go to a new window. Um, uh, and then you have to celebrate, uh, hashtag to celebrate, insert link to, uh, sorry, to discover. Boom. Oh shit, did I do the new window? <laughs> but it's okay. You'll see how, how what, what it looks like um, to share. Right, that's it. This is the first part. The first part is over, right? Now the second part, super simple, All right? I'm just saving it. Give it a second. Uh, okay. All right, I'm going to pause and I'm going to come back in a minute. It's taking longer than usual for some reason. That took a second, but it's done. So now, uh, now that the table of contents is done, uh, here's what here's here's, here's what I'm gonna do, right? I just need to like find to learn. For example, I want the first link to jump to the to learn section, right? So click show HTML and find. Uh, if you just click Control F, okay, to learn. All right, so this is the heading. This is a section, right? So just come in here and type in ID is equal to whatever text you entered there without the hashtag. So it will be to learn. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Click save. And preview. Usually it takes a minute to update, but let's see should work uh, okay to learn there you go so you click to learn jumps right to learn so let's do the same thing for to celebrate but this time i'm going to show you something different right so to celebrate so that's the section i'm going to change the h2 to dev it's, it's like another tag. So I just want to show you this because it doesn't matter what tag you have. Like, for example, if your text is like, 
you know, inside some tag like P or it, it doesn't really matter. Just add ID is equal to and the text you enter to the top. So for this is celebrate and don't, don't add the hashtag here. The hashtag only goes at the table of contents list. Save. I don't know if I got the spelling right, so we'll see, but all right, let's go. Pause it for a second. I'm sorry for that. I saved. I'm going to click preview. All right. So yeah, there you go. So it goes to to celebrate. If I click on to learn, it goes to to learn. Uh, and if I click on to celebrate, it goes to to celebrate it. Uh, the reason, it, you know, it's right under the heading is because it's just the t design of my theme, but for you, if your theme doesn't do that, it doesn't do that, but either way, uh, so that's how you do it. I'm not gonna do the rest of them because it's pretty much the same thing, you know? So, uh, hope you found this helpful. If you did, please uh, give, um, the video a like and channel a subscribe for more videos like this every day and every week. Thank you.